Hello guys, welcome to a new amazing tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can create a paint blend material for landscape with displacement. Unreal removed this option for a long long time, but finally it's back in Unreal Engine 5.3. First I need to show you something, right click here, create a new material and double click on it. Now this displacement option will not be available if you create a new Unreal Engine 5.3 project but I'll show you how to fix this. Go to your project where you created the Unreal Engine 5 folder, go to config, default engine, scroll down to render settings. Now these two options will not be available here because it's a new project so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna need you to go to the description copy and paste them here and then when you're done control save close this restart your engine go to your new material and you will see this option is available now i'm going to delete this material because i don't need it and i'm going to start to show you how you can create a landscape plan material with displacement now i'm going to right click here and go to my quixel content and i'm going to go to my local and i'm going to use the forest floor the rocky ground and the rocky forest floor i'm gonna add these three with the highest quality because i want to see my landscape in really high quality material if you want to use the same material i'll add the asset id to the description so you can paste it here and there you have the material now i'm gonna go to the mega scans surfaces and here are my materials that i added i'm gonna right click here create a new material and I'm gonna call this landscape material. I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna start adding my texture and also organizing them. After I organized my texture, I need this to be at first forest floor because when I add this uh, material to the landscape I need this to show first and then I added the rocky forest ground second and the rocky ground third now I'm gonna go all the way up here search for land and landscape layer coordinates and also hold M left click and hold one also left click I'm gonna connect this here and I'm gonna use this to control my tiling also connect it to here put the default value to 1 now I'm gonna select these three control C control V control V and then I'm gonna connect these to the UV also here and finally the last one Now I'm gonna head up and then I'm gonna right click convert to parameter and I'm gonna name this the same name as this one so this one is forest floor forest floor main because this will show first and then also convert to parameter this one is rocky forest ground rocky forest ground second this will show second and this one is rocky ground convert to parameter rocky ground third go here also all the way up right click search for make material attributes also control C control V control V now I'm gonna connect the base color to the base color normal to normal and here where the displacement goes the red goes here and this one goes to roughness and the blue one goes to displacement also I'm gonna do the same here
I'm gonna right click here again search for land and landscape layer blend go here add three because I need three I have three materials and I'm gonna name each one of them the same name as this one so this one is first floor main control C control V and here Control C. Control V. And the last one is Rocky Ground Third. Also paste it here. Go ahead and connect the ma make material attributes. This one goes to the first, the second, and the third. Now search for break, break material attributes and connect this to here and finally the last one is to connect base color to base color, roughness to roughness, displacement to displacement, ambient to ambient and normal to normal. Now that I'm done here I'm gonna hit apply and save, go back here, click on the landscape, right click here, create material instance, and drag and drop this to the landscape material. Now don't worry, this is normal, I'm gonna go to selection mode, landscape, paint, and here you can see I have my three materials. I'm gonna hit this plus, weight blend, save. You can see this is back to normal. Also these two, the same thing again. Now for the landscape um, displacement, I'm gonna go here to my landscape material. I'm gonna click on landscape material, the last one, and there is an option called displacement under nanite. I'm gonna set this to 0 0.05 and I'm gonna hit apply go back here you can still not see a displacement so you're gonna have to click on the um, landscape scroll down and enable nanite and build data if I go down a little bit here you can see that I already have displacement on my landscape so how do I start by uh, painting go back to landscape paint select this one and increase the brush size a little bit and the tool strength and if I go here let's say I want rocky ground third and I start painting you can see that I also have displacement on the rocky ground third which is really really cool now I'm gonna go ahead and pick rocky forest ground also paint you can see also there is displacement on this material as well. Let's say I want to change the tiling of this. I'm going to double click on material instance and let's say I want to change the rocky ground third. I'm going to put this to 0.6 and now you can see that there is quite difference and maybe let's say 1.5 you can see also the difference here. This is actually pretty cool and very useful in Unreal Engine 5.3 and thanks to them they gave us the option again. Don't forget that you can add as much as materials you want just hit on landscape material, copy and paste these three, add your texture, add the make material attributes and add a landscape layer blend and it's all done. If there is still no landscape displacement, I need you to do one simple thing for me and I need you to um, copy and paste this, like it's the same as this one but without the equal, it's just space. So copy these two, like Ctrl C, Ctrl V and enter here and also the other one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and enter and you will see it but for me I don't need to add these two here 
I just can go to the default engine, add it there and the settings, the render settings, and I will have a displacement on my landscape. So thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it was really helpful for you and see you in the next one.